Hey everybody, this is Not A Spring Chick, and I know news still continues in the world, but here in Southern California, we're kind of in like this Emmy bubble, because it happens to be Emmy week, and so all of these different things are going on. One of the things going on, oh, last night, Legends Beyond Presents, oh, Music and Moguls, hosted by Vivica Fox, birthday celebration by Free to Pay. Totally unexpected, but oh, yeah, let's get back to regular news. I'm going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. Camera, 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 camera. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, you'd believe it if you were listening to the press this morning. The Republican passed a budget that defines Obamacare and basically is dead when it reaches the Senate. Well, the problem comes is the Republican, here's the key words, folks. The Republicans passed a budget and the Democrats are not even going to pass a budget once again. And they're just going to come back in eight days with the continuing resolution and expect it to be signed this time. The problem comes is that, you know, as, as Herbie Daddy wants to keep informing people that the Republicans are not elected to do things to support the president's policies. They're elected to not support the president's policies. And if they're, okay, you're going to throw these people out. Well, not the people that elect them. They'll only throw you out if you, uh, okay. Boehner got the message when they, when they started the recall election for him for November. He got that's next uh, two months from now. He would be out as a congressman in November unless he decided to go along with the people in his constituency. Not the lead. okay. Here where it works is he and 38 Republicans will join the Democrats and pass Obama's continuing resolution. So Obama wins, but they also the people will know the Republicans stood up and the president basically crammed it down people's throats whether they wanted it or not. And it's, it's they just lost. Uh, the largest health care provider in the state of Ohio is going is, is firing people and cutting his budget back because of Obamacare. They cannot afford to be on that system, but the president demands it. So it, 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 the health care system is busted under this man. And Plastic Pounds, a Bank of England, six views on ditching paper notes. Um, okay, first of all, I don't understand the plastic bit. I mean, if they, they could go... They, they, you know, they got rid of coins because they were too heavy. They went to paper because it was easier to print, and they had a lifestyle of, of decades. So now they decided that paper is too expensive, so they're going to go to plastic, which basically is going to be a disaster. Plastic? They're going to go to plastic pound notes. That is, that'll last a really long time, won't it? Isn't it that easier well, to... Well, the plastic has a tendency to fade. A plastic has yeah. a tendency to do everything you can think of. The notes, the printed note, okay, we've got stuff, okay, plastic will be here forever, but the plastic will not be here forever in the original form. What happens when these things start to, uh, you know, deteriorate? No, they start right. to wrinkle from age, and you're, you're, you know, you can't, you, you can't put plastic in your pocket and set on it, you can't a paper note, which they don't seem to understand. Oh. Yeah. And Paul and other senators push for sentencing overhaul. Oh, because he's a libertarian. He doesn't think that uh, the drug use should be prosecutable. Hmm. And electric cars dominated at the Frankfurt Auto Show. Nobody wants an electric car. Herbie Danny says this is all the green people trying to force agendas on people. Okay, they said here's the thing about the Tesla, which is selling like great guns, according to the things. They sell more Teslas in Los Angeles than they do Mercedes, more than they do Porsches. More than they do land road, uh, call, that's called none of the above is true. You can basically throw a rock and hit dealerships to sell those cars. You have to go to a shopping center to find a Tesla and you can't get delivery on them. We know people have given up on trying to get delivery. And House Chairman pledges action on immigration. Yeah, but the immigration is not going to be approved of. Obama wants to work with the House on the immigration reform. He'll take it in steps as long as the first step is giving uh, citizenship to all the people. And voting problems plagued in New York City primary election. Well, yeah, because they said that, uh, that basically all of the losers are saying that uh, uh, even though it's the democratically controlled state, a democratically controlled city, that there was a, that what happened was they, they, they kept people from voting. It was the Republicans kept people from voting for Democratic candidates. I don't think so. And Obama and Boehner locked in another budget battle as deadlines loom. There's been no budget battle. Okay, a Boehner has 38 Republican votes in his back pocket. Those 38 votes plus his 
and all the Democrats give Obama everything he wants. Mm -hmm. And Obama administration concerned about Republican Obamacare inquiry. Yeah, they, okay, Obama is refusing to give them, or he's getting all this information on um, the case. The Congressional Budget Office says one thing, Obama like, sends information out that says another, and he's totally refusing to identify his sources. Uh, it, so it's ridiculous. He's, somebody's giving him this false information about how this is working, and it's not. And the U.S. spying on Brazil halts talks on warplane purchase. Yeah, um, because they're somewhat pissed at the United States and the NSA spying on them. Oh, they were spying. Obama, who basically worships the ground that George Soros walks on, was monitoring George Soros's messages. Oh my gosh! Obama, like he thought he was exempt from it? No, Obama throws every... Obama is a good socialist, and good socialists throw everybody under the wheels of the bus in order to make the... It, it, it's all for the cause? It's all for the cause, yep. And Putin sees reason for hope in Syrian chemical arms deal. Okay, the Syrians turned over their so-called info today, and there's already a problem. Oh, what is the problem? Herbie Daddy says, all of the places are in the middle of war zones. Isn't that amazing? Oh. Which means there'll be no verifying any of them. And Biden has tongues wagging over the 2016 race with a visit to Iowa. Yeah, because um, basically, I'm guessing that if okay, if everything turns out like the guy is this morning, he's going to personally sit down with the new head of Iran and talk about nuclear disarmament. Oh, how long do you have to talk? What did the Jewish guy said? Yeah, he said within the next two months they'll have a nuclear bomb. And how long are they going to be in negotiations? Oh, at least for the they expect to be in negotiations for the next year. They'll have their first nuclear weapon in two months. And U.S. Appeals Court rejects California fuel rule challenge. Yep, which means uh, basically they just destroyed the ethanol industry. <laughs> and Holder expands... <laughs> I know, isn't that horrible? Yeah. And Holder expands changes in drug case policy. Oh yeah, basically there's no... Um, you know, it basically if you go into a nursery school, give drugs to little... If go into a, you know, a, a nursery, they give drugs to all the little one, two, three-year-olds in the nursery. That's perfectly all right under Obama because we're going to tax the drugs that you're giving to these kids. Emmanuel says new SE side school to ease overcrowding. Only problem is he doesn't have the $550 million he needs for the new school system and the teachers to run it. So he's going to have to raise taxes on everybody in order to make it work. And the state is flat broke now. And trying to meet a 7.5% growth target, World Bank chief. Uh, but that's not never going to happen because, first of all, they haven't been able to reach that total since Obama became president, and yet they expect to reach it next year. Mm -hmm. uh, the Chinese economy is being kept afloat by printing money. Even okay, here is the only industry. What? everyone said, "What's the only industry that actually is making money in the United States?" Well, we have we build the printing presses that all these countries are using to print their money with. Mm -hmm. And if they go to if they go to plastic in other countries, it puts that industry out of business. And did GOP Senator Mike Lee accidentally make the Democrats Democrats point about Obamacare and shutdowns? No, he didn't because he um, it, it, he what said did he do? well basically he said that uh, that uh, that they didn't have the votes and that basically went over really bad yesterday. The party went and told the three guys that basically have been leading the campaign to, to shut their big mouths. Mm -hmm. For the simple reason, you don't tell people that you can't do it. And Quebec separatists play to core voters with headscarf and turban ban. Yeah, because it's got to be banned. Debbie, where's your mind? Oh, yeah, some phone's ringing. Like yeah. somebody forgot to move it in the other room. Yeah. <laughs> and the last one. British conservatives draw level with labor as economy recovers, a poll. The economy's not recovering. That's the whole problem. They just keep laying. I have relatives in England that basically live by holding re wedding receptions and parties on the property. They're basically, if they're lucky, they, they've went from 100 a year to maybe one a month now. And a Monty bubble isn't from the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. That uh, If you let other people tell you how to run your business, then it's their business. Not your business.